Hey guys, welcome to Empowerment One. I'm really excited to welcome you to this stage in your life, to this timing of your life, where you start to actualize yourself, whether this is new to you or a continuation and an empowerment of it. Self-actualization means that you are going to literally activate yourself, put yourself in motion, into motion, into action, to actualize, to realize not only what you are, but also who you are and how you wish to execute that, how you wish to become this pristine expression of who you truly are. So that the energy of creation, the energy of, in a sense, your higher self can flow more and more effortlessly through your body-mind expression so that you can tap into the unlimited power, the infinite abundance, and you can start to understand how creation actually works. And once you get these principles, it's so much fun to be alive instead of it just being a drag and that the highest you can think of is the peace of self-realization, which is absolutely epic and necessary. But this course is going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. It's going to actually turn you on to who you truly are, tap you into more of yourself and make you a very powerful, beautiful, clear, balanced expression of that true self, of your true theme, of your true blueprint, of your true desire. You're going to be a vessel, you're going to be a conduit, a channel of the one infinite creator. And it's going to be uninhibited energy. You're going to have uninhibited flow, uninhibited creative expression, uninhibited play and joy and all these good things. So I'm really excited to welcome you to this stage of your life and to be here with you every step of the way. It is my honor, it is my duty, and it is my joy. So thank you for having made it this far. So I'll very briefly talk to you about the flow of this course. It consists of five chapters and the first chapter is simply going to start where you're at. Assuming not much of where you're at in your understanding of self-actualization yet, it's simply going to start at describing the human condition, where suffering comes from, and the, it's going to address the basics of empowerment, the basics of actualizing yourself. So it takes you as you are in your focalized state of being a being and it addresses from that point of view. Then chapter two is going to expand you. It's going to um, wake you up to the greater universal principles, truths, and in a sense, laws of creation. In other words, I'm going to very experientially show you and explain to you how the universe works, how creation works, how consciousness and its creation work on a daily basis, how you've created this experience for yourself. And when you start to understand, get a clearer, more crisp, understanding of some of these fundamental universal principles and truths, then you can start to really go back again to the focalized point of being you, but this time not from a place of ignorance, but from a place of being backed up with a context that is huge, with a context, with a cosmology, with an understanding of the universe, of creation, of how it originates to begin with. And you can bring that into your practice. You can have that as part of your belief system, as part of your conviction, as part of your realization. And it will only amplify and empower your ability to actualize yourself. So chapter three, after chapter two's cosmology and um, sort of overview of some of the laws of creation. Chapter three is going to focus, not too densely, but it's going to focus back onto you as an individual expression of the all that isness of creation. And so using those principles, you will then in very practical ways, learn to actualize yourself. Now chapter four is again doing a similar thing. So we sort of have this movement back and forth. It's going to expand you back again, like pause you for a second. And now that you've had your first few glimpses of, of what it's actually like to actualize yourself, we're going to take a seat, take a, take a step back and observe with greater wisdom where that perspective of I am the creator of my life needs to perhaps be balanced by certain relevant points of view or considerations such as what is your theme? How do you communicate in a sense with your higher self? What is the balance between will and faith? And so in chapter four, we in a sense balance you out to avoid you getting into the trap of um, what you often see people doing when they get into sort of new age understandings, but they don't really have any balanced perspective. They don't really know how this operates, how this is functioning throughout their everyday life experiences. And so we're going to avoid those traps. We're going to make sure that you're a completely balanced, realized, actualized being. And so then after we balance you out in a sense, balance your perspectives so that there is that 
sense of completion, that sense of combining presence and peace with the actualization of excitement and joy and passion and creativity and power. And then chapter five will again go from that balanced, more observatory state back into the individual that you are. And this time not only actualize, but empower the actualizations that you're already familiar with. So in chapter three, you learn what it's like to become more of yourself and how to put that into action. And chapter five will be empowering and enhancing those qualities. And it will share with you a few very, very powerful secrets and shifts in attention that turn you from a victim into basically God, your God, your own God energy, your own God consciousness. And those are really powerful enhancements. And so in order to really get to that space and you know, activate that, actualize that, and empower yourself in that way. It's really good to have this flow of the back and forth of the individual and the greater picture, the individual and the more balanced picture, and then the individual being balanced and having a greater understanding of creation. Then you can go forth in this balanced way, expressing yourself to the fullest that you can conceive of. So I'm really, really excited for you.